All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at Clean My Mac 5.0, brand new, just came out. Of course, when you're watching this video, it could have been years. But anyways, you know what I mean. Today, brand new video, whatever. Anyways, there'll be an invite code in the video description below, or if you're watching this on Twitter slash X, uh, it'll be in the video itself. You can just click on that, take it right to the invite code for 30 day free trial better than the seven day free trial that they have. It's an invite link. I think the code's already in the link, so just check it out indeed. I also been using Clean My Mac for many years now. I use it as the subscription service. I'm not even sure if they still sell it as a independent uh, software. They may, I'll have to check that out. Uh, and I also use Set App, which is 250 Mac apps, over 250 Mac apps, roughly. Um, and it's part of that subscription as well. That's just what I've been subscribing to. It comes with a VPN and many, many other apps that I use. But anyways, let's check this out. Uh, so this is brand new. This is my first look at it. I haven't even tried it yet. The brand new version that is. And let's see with some of the new things here that we got. We have Smart Care, ultimate Mac optimization routine that performs five tasks in one. Duplicate finder, identify and delete duplicates of all formats to reclaim space. They did have one for um, photos and stuff before. So now I guess they have for all files, which is really cool. So you clear out your space on there. Similar photos, as I just discussed. Declutter nearly identical photos. Take advantage of your storage. Interesting. Milk, Mac, milk, milk. What am I saying? Mac Health Assistant. Run detailed Mac Health diagnosis and know precisely what your Mac needs battery monitoring uh, and some other improvements in here. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's open it up. This is again, my first look, just one step away. Privacy policy, terms of service, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, just to agree, I'll do that later. Begin. All right, we got some sound here. I don't know what's going. All right, so welcome to Clean My Mac. We'll do the scan. Uh, Okay, allow me to use Bluetooth. Hmm, okay, I guess so. Just do that. Okay, we already read the Clean My Mac, the new stuff here. We'll do a scan, and it'll probably take a little bit, so I might just fast forward the video, or I'll talk about some other stuff while we're doing that. Let's hit scan. All right, looking for junk. While this is going on, I guess I'll tell you about Set App here real quick. These are some of my favorite apps that I have. These are ones on my Mac. Again, there's 200 plus 50 apps or 250, or over 250, whatever. Um, I haven't tried all of them. I haven't tried even a fraction of them, but it's a great deal because like I said, I got the VPN, clear my Mac here. If I got download YouTube videos, uh, text extractor is really cool as well. You could uh, copy text from the screen. So if you're watching a webinar or something, that's pretty cool. Um, just a bunch of stuff, bartender. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all these because this would be a longer video if I do that. But there's a lot of really cool stuff that you might want to check out. All right, looking for threats. So I got 7.9 gigabytes of junk to clean right now. So that will just get rid of all these cache files and stuff. That's a lot of information on my Mac. Searching for malware and stuff like that. Okay, and it's moving along here. No threats to remove. Okay, your tasks are ready to run. Look what we found. So the junk we could remove, we could review that as well. No threats, one task to run, two virtual updates to install, or not virtual, two vital updates, 930 duplicate downloads. Wow, we're gonna have to look into those. Uh, Cause that takes up a lot of space. So let's review this. Universal binaries, that's 800 plus gigs. So this is for deleting the duplicate code that you have to use for the uh, two different kinds of Macs. And I'm using the M1 chip, so I don't need the Intel stuff on my Mac. I guess these are the binaries for that. And there's a lot in here um, that I can remove. I can select these individually. Now you do want to be careful deleting stuff, so I'm not going to do this right now in the video. I'm going to check this out later, but use your cache files. I can delete smart log files, language files, user long f longer files, uh, document versions, cache, broken login system items. 
So these ones are already selected and then these ones you can review. So let's run that. What is happening? Nothing's happening. Oh, that was just the review. That's why nothing happened. This is the first look, like I said. And then we got some updates to review here. Uh, we could check out these update apps here. Done looking, reviewing that. And then clutter, duplicate files to remove. Now I really want to review these. So duplicate downloads, get rid of unneeded copies with ease. So I'm going to review this one again because this is the first time I'm doing the, the duplicate downloads. So I'm going to uncheck that one. I can do all these other tasks. Let's run. It's emptying the junk now. And then I guess we could, oh, I need my password. Install a little helper there. So there's some pretty cool things in here. These are new or systems. Okay, this one's, I guess, done. So we cleaned nearly eight gigabytes of junk. We started these downloads. The task, I forgot to review, so I only <laughs> did something. Uh, your Mac is safe from threats. I'm gonna review this one later. Got the assistant. Excellent, your MacBook is doing great. Run regular maintenance to keep it this way. Uh, get rid of my clutter. Let's scan this, digging through. I think this might be the same as the duplicate file thing or it might be a scan it shows you what your the old version used to show you like what your biggest files were and what's taking up the most space sometimes i have lots of installers and zip files that you download with the installer in it then you have the installer so that's a lot of clutter on your mac that you don't need that you just could delete and throw away all right well that is going on let's go to smart care and view the log here Smart care, okay. There used to be a thing where you had told you their whole photo library. There used to be a thing where you could um, see how much files you've deleted the whole time you used the program. I don't know if that's still in this because this is the updated version. Uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, you can check out the invite link down in the video description below. Or if you're watching this on Twitter or X slash it's in the video, just click in the video. And you can get a 30-day free trial of set app that comes with Clean My Mac and all these other apps that you want, might want to try out. There's, you know, a bunch. My Explorer here. Um, just a lot of apps. A lot of productivity apps, optimizing apps, work apps, creating apps developer apps, AI apps as well. So check it out. That is all for now. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you soon.